hello guys welcome back again to my channel is your girl Helene Konko in Helene's corner all right guys after fixing the car we continued our journey and this is it right now we are still in Kogi state let me tell you people little history the little one I know about uh, Kogi state as a geography student in my secondary school days all right this Kogi state is supposed to be the federal capital territory of Nigeria. But due to politics, it was taken to Lagos. And another politics, it was taken to Abuja. So now, I didn't know why they decided to make Lagos the federal capital territory. But the reason why this Kogi state was supposed to be the federal capital territory was because it was in the center. And most countries, their capital territory is known to be in the center so that if there is war before they will get to the capital territory the country would have bounced itself back and prepare for the war very very well so if you know why the capital territory was taken away from kogi states please drop it in the comment section because me i don't know why the only thing i know is that it's supposed to be the capital territory now let me tell you guys why it's supposed to be the capital territory Kogi state is bordered by 10 good states, as in 10 good states. Do you believe that it's bordered with federal capital territory? Because after this place, we are going to enter, after this state now, we are going to drive into the federal capital territory. And then, to join this state, we came from Benue state. You can also come from Enugu to join this state. Somewhere around Abaji, where I school, we joined this Kogi state through um, Nasarawa state. Uh -huh. You can also get uh, Kogi state also shares border with Anambra state. It also shares with Edo state. It shares with Ondo state. It shares with Ekiti state, Kwara state, and Ninja state. Ten. Ten of them. Yes. That is what why it's supposed to be the capital territory at least a lot of states would have enjoyed from the capital territory since it's touching this state touching this state but you know politics is stronger than anything now let us continue into the journey this kogi states there are three major tribes i know of there is one they call besa that is also in natural state i heard there is also idoma in kogi state Dom. I'm not too sure. I don't know. If you're sure of it, please drop it in the comment section. Let's hear. Then there is uh, the one I know of is Igbira and then Igala. I could remember one of my neighbors. She will always see, speak Wave Ona. If you're a co guide watching me, please say hi in the comment section. <laughs> you're looking for a tourist center to visit, you can also try Kogi State. Kogi State has a lot of hills, traditional arts and crafts, industry, good land features, water features. Just like as we are driving now, you're going to be seeing water, water, water almost everywhere. River, river, everywhere in this state. Okay? That's, we've passed several and we are going to even pass a lot too. Let us continue. Guys, uh, guys, as I'm talking this thing, eh, as I'm saying all these things on this uh, particular video, I'm not happy. I'm not happy because how can Nigeria be blessed like this? And we, in fact, we are not making use of it. Look at all the land we are passing. They are vacant. They are vacant. But do you believe that this particular state in terms of agriculture, it has uh, coffee, cocoa, palm oil, hey is it rice because of the water they have rice they can also cultivate cassava here maize even cashew nuts what is it that cannot grow in this state but because of a uh, maybe the, the 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 nomadic heading of the headsmen people cannot cultivate their land and get enough food that is required to export to other countries abroad for Christ's sake, what will happen if the herdsmen practice ranching? Eh? What do you guys think about what I'm saying? Now you can see those girls selling what we call dangua or kulikuli. That's one of the 
major food you can also get hawker cell in Kogi State. We are passing the Federal Road Safety here. <clears throat> Nigerian Army, they are all here and we are getting into the Confluence Bridge. My God, guys, when we were passing this particular bridge now, hmm, I was so scared. I could remember the first time I traveled through this bridge when I went to Enugu from Kaduna because I was born and bred everything in Kaduna State. So, I was going to my village oh, when I passed through this place. I had to be praying rosary on this bridge so that our car would not mistakenly fall into it. Now, this bridge is old. It's already dilapidated, honestly. Do you know that passing through this bridge at a certain time, I was so scared. You will be seeing water. Oh. You will stay on top of this bridge and you will be seeing that water under you. It's not even this one I'm looking through the window. At the floor there, some places are broken here in this bridge. At night, how will motorists drive for Christ's sake? <clears throat> this bridge have stayed years. They've made this bridge since 19... If it's not 50 something or even 60 something, that's when they've made this bridge. But until now, nothing has been done to make this bridge to to be of standard as in to meet the current standard look at the water we are passing we are still driving oh we are still driving you have not even seen water water is coming so at last what will happen to us in this country if we continue like this all right it seems work is ongoing anyway on the second part of the bridge because this bridge well, we are actually taking one way. If you notice very well, you will see that some cars are coming into the bridge and some cars are going. When the bridge has two two ways, the other people are supposed to take the other way, but there was a diversion, and everybody is taking this uh, one way from the other side. Now, after crossing this bridge, you will notice that there is a place that they sell fish, fish, dried fish. This a uh, cat fish that is a. Uh, our type of fish here mm? by the side there and that place there if you buy fish there Omo is very very cheap so cheap it's just that I wasn't driving by myself if I was I would have actually bought fish there look at the bridge I believe it's accident that has broken some part of the bridges like that and then thank God let let us hope that they are going to work on both this side and the other side not just one side because i've noticed that most of the roads that they've worked on while traveling all this my travel these uh, months that i'm on leave eh i've noticed that most of the roads they've worked on they are just working on one side they'll just walk one small distance like that and they will stop they will not walk they will not complete even one side though. not to even talk of to work on the other side that's what I've noticed now. I don't know why. Maybe there is no money. If it's money, I pray that more money comes. Then if it's there, some people are eating the money, may God touch their heart. Let them stop eating our money. And to help us, let them work for us. Because this road, come to look at it, the rich don't travel by road. They go through air. It is the poor people, poor masses that travel by road. Uh -huh. See what I'm talking about. Place they are selling fishes. Hey! You can buy fish there at a very cheap rate. Now, let us go into <coughs> mineral resources. What does Kogi State have? If you notice, you will see that I heard that there's uh, Dangote has a project in Kogi State. I don't know how true. Please, if you're too sure of it, please drop it in the comment section. But and that project has to do with the cement industry. Yes, if I'm not mistaken. <coughs> now, you notice cement industry because there is limestone in Kogi State. Kogi State has limestone. And the presence of Ajokuta iron and steel was because Kogi State has steel. I don't know if they call it iron or they call it steel. Let me call it iron and steel. Mm -hmm. That is why Ajokuta is situated there. The, one of the largest uh, steel industries. Mm -hmm. Now again, um, what else? What else? They also have coal, like I heard. I don't know how true. They have petroleum too. 
like a head. Mm. I don't know too. And finally, they have tin. I'm sorry, my voice is just cracking because I have little cold. All the water we are passing, oh, almost everywhere, bridge water, like that. All these places, ah, uh, these places will be good to cultivate rice. So, oh. in fact, that um, uh, crops, some crops are seasonal. It's not about where there is water. Oh. If they can do proper irrigation like this, this place will be bringing out food all through the year, producing different types of food all through the year and at a very cheap rate. Only this state self can feed Nigeria. Now look at that hill view there. I really hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs with me. Let us continue. More water. Look at it. There is another bridge here. So this is it. Let's continue our journey. See the water is almost carrying this bridge. This water here is almost on top of the bridge, touching this bridge. Imagine if it's raining season, they'll be crossing here. If it's a, a sept September or let's say August, they might be using boats to cross this place or, or they will go and look for another road though, because the rain is just too much. All right, guys, if you're still watching me until now and you're not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell beside it so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. And to my returning subscribers, God bless you. There are some of you that they, you can't just wait for me to upload. You always support me no matter what. I'm seeing all of you. God bless you. I really appreciate your support and your love. So, still on Kogi states, the water states, the cornflake states, the fish states, the rice states. What else? Though they don't even produce much rice, so like uh, Niger states. It's like Niger states produce more more than Kogi states, I think. Uh, not too sure, but please drop it in the comment section. Which one is more? Is it Niger states or Kogi states? Please drop it in the comment section. If there's anything you know about Kogi states or any memory you have of Kogi states, please drop it in the comment section. If you're a co-guide and you are watching me, mm -hmm, drop it in the comment section. Mm. The only Nollywood actress I know, okay, okay, Halima Abubaka and uh, I think Messi Johnson, both, both of them are from this state, yes. Especially Messi Johnson. Hi, ah, Messi Johnson, I heard she's Kogi woman. Alright guys, so what else? We are still in Kogi state, enjoying these vlogs. And if you're a YouTuber watching me, please don't forget to share my videos always on your community so that more people can join this family, guys. Uh -uh. Mm. And if you're watching me and you've not thumbs up this video, you've not liked this video, please click the like button for me. It helps with the algorithm of this video. As you're watching Kogi State, you click the like button for me. You share to your friends, self. There are some of those your friends that are from Kogi State. Show them their state. Let them know. All right, guys. See you guys in our next video, hmm? which is going to be the part three. I'm going to be covering Zuma Rock and the lot other places in Abuja, and also I think Niger State also. So I hope you're waiting for my part three of my kaduna um, enugu kaduna vlogs all right guys it's from how fast the car is moving you will observe how clean and smooth this particular road we are driving on right now is oh my god from uh, after the bridge this side that looks like the former toll gate though i don't know if it's the former toll gate exactly you will see that the road is smooth to abuja as in it is after zuba that you will start even getting roads that are not smooth i'm going to show you guys a little bit of it these are the structures you are going to get within it just observe the vegetation from the beginning of the vlogs and you will see that the vegetation is gradually turning into short short uh, straw look at where cows are grazing god the cows that are here are what millions of naira oh my god they are grazing here and then they graze all through almost all through the side of you watch the vegetation you will see how the vegetations are changing you see the buildings and you know that we are 
indirectly getting into the federal capital territory and then we are going to end our vlogs here see you next time i hope you really enjoyed this vlogs bye